Hello, Cube community. My name is Savannah Peterson here with a special edition from our Cube studios in Palo Alto, California. As you may or may not know, September is Deaf and Hard of Hearing Awareness Month. And at the Cube, we take the accessibility both of our platform and for our guests and for our community extremely seriously. One of the greater honors of my career here at the Cube has been working with CNCF's Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group on multiple segments, both at KubeCon North America as well as KubeCon in Europe. I want to give a special shout out to Rob, Destiny, Milad, and Anastasia for everything that they have taught me through our segments, as well as the hardworking interpreters that have made these possible. I wanted to make sure we shared this special segment this month for you so that no matter whether you're a part of this community or looking to be a better ally to this community, you can learn from these fabulous guests. I'll let them take it away. Yeah, so we are growing uh, in a big force here in the community. The Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group um, has started in the U.S., but of course it has included several of us from Europe at this point. And we're hoping to get some folks from Asia soon. And um, we're trying to really grow awareness and um, share with yeah. the world what it means to have accessibility in technical spaces. You've done a lot in a very short period of time less than a year that the group has been working together. What are some of the things that you're working on? What are, what are some of the resources you're trying to provide? We are trying to make everyone feel included. That's the overall goal. Everyone should be represented from the majority, minority, all the way to the deaf and hard of hearing, uh, everywhere in between. We're always trying to push for closed captions. Uh, we're also, you know, making a point to say that it benefits other groups, not just the deaf and hard of hearing. And um, helping other folks out there who would like to have certain kind of meetups know how to provide accessibility for their communities and their new possible deaf and hard of hearing members. It's the curb cut effect. So when you have, you know, things like sidewalks where they've cut that curb for wheelchair users, Seems now though everybody uses it. People on scooters, on bikes, with strollers, any you name it, right? It benefits everybody. So accessibility and accommodations really help all of us. Say there's a young deaf coder out there curious about CNCF and this community. What would you tell them? If someone says, oh no, it's impossible, you can't do that, tell them to fuck off, just go for it. Listen, do it, whatever you say. You know, whatever you want to do, go for it, and we will support you. If you're looking for other deaf and hard of hearing in tech, find us. We are there. So just 100% go for it. We really want to implement and make uh, a powerhouse of CNCF community members. And like we have said repeatedly, it's not just for deaf and hard of hearing people. It's for anyone. I mean, if you turn the captions on in a meeting where a lot of people have a great deal of variety of accents, it's helpful even for people who can hear. It's cloud native and also open source landscapes. And how do we capture that contribution and be a part of contributing to the overall community as well, not just the deaf and hard of hearing segment. We've got mm -hmm. some other ideas for the future to kind of expand on. You're trying to come into a space where we're trying to communicate. Don't be afraid, really, I would say. Just we can write back and forth, we can type, we can text, we can do all of these. There's many ways to communicate with us. That's really the first step. After that, then the communication happens. I'm very excited to be here and thrilled with the opportunity to be able to have a conversation with you.